Hi there, Miss Chu here, and I'm going to be showing you how to create a bar graph on Google Sheets, just like this one here. Let's first start with a blank um, sheet. I'm going to start off with labeling uh, my bar graph, just like so. And we are going to create a scale um, for our bar graph. I'm just going to add in the numbers here real quick for you. Now, if at any point in the graph you want to add more numbers, you just have to cut and paste like I did here. And you can increase the numbers in your scale. I'm now going to make um, my labels just like so. So here's a cow, sheep, pigs, wolves, and cats. And let's make a label for our scale as well. And here I'm just going to merge all these cells together and realign it in such a way so it looks a little nicer. Um, you can take a look of how I've done that here. I made the font bigger, and this is how you can center the, uh, the alignment. I'm going to do the same with my title of my graph. Make the font bigger, center. Our next step is to start filling in um, our colors for our bar graph, and we can do that with the fill paint buckets. And that's pretty much the base foundation of our graph. Um, at this point, you can start making it look nicer, um, just like what I'm doing here, just to make your bar graph a little more cleaner and neat. And that's pretty much the basics of creating a bar graph on Google Sheets. So we can apply these same steps when we uh, create our double bar graph. Um, I've already quickly skipped ahead from what we have already learned in the video. Um, there's a few things that you might want to learn while you're doing this. Uh, for example, you might want to make your uh, columns a bit smaller so you can resize columns and make them smaller. So I tried 50 in this one. I'm just going to zoom ahead and start filling in the colors for this bar graph. And you'll notice that if you want to make it a little bit cleaner, you can always insert a column to the left or the right and give some white space between your double bar graphs. You'll need to click on the letter on the very top to insert a right, new column to the left or the right. And remember to, um, you, also, you might duplicate that bar color, so you want to um, select it and reset the color so that it's white again. And once you're all finished, you can go ahead and start um, adding more design elements to your bar graph if you have time, like changing the fonts, uh, the size, and filling in the colors. This is just to make my bar graph a little more prettier. Alright, hopefully, friends, students, now it's your turn to create your own bar graph.